Hi everyone, today I want to film a first impressions video. Um, a few weeks ago I received this pen, which is a Wallady or Airmail 69T. Um, I haven't inked this yet, even though I've had it for a few weeks. Um, and I kind of wanted to do that with you guys on video to also share with you my first impressions of this pen. So this is an Indian eyedropper pen. Um, I'm not really experienced in the verse of Indian eyedroppers. I know that they are fairly popular and that there are several uh, pen companies making them. Um, and this was a very cheap option. So I was like, why not try one? Um, I don't tend to uh, like um, eyedroppers that much because I like using different types of inks. So uh, I like switching around and when you use uh, an eyedropper, a lot of ink goes into that barrel. So it, it, it takes forever to empty this out. Um, that's why I don't fill all my piston fillers all the way often because I want to finish the ink quite quickly um, because I am a serial, serial ink switcher basically. Um, but I am gonna ink this up today and I don't know if I'm gonna fill it all the way but I want to write with it, share you my opinion, my first thoughts, and uh, I hope it's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we have a more close-up shot of the pen and the ink I'm going to use. First, let's look at the pen. Um, it's a very nice blue acrylic. Um, it is the... Listing on eBay said it was a Wallaty 69T, but the barrel and the cap band uh say airmail i think they're interchangeable um and you can use both when you uncap it you have an acrylic section um i chose the medium nib i've seen pictures of this pen with a um, mono colored nib this is a two-tone nib which i really like um of course you unscrew it like this. Um, I wanted to clean this pen before using it. However, normally I would use a bulb syringe and just uh, spray water through the feed. Um, but this is a little different. So um, I dunked it in water for a little bit, but it was harder to clean. I don't know why I'm screwing it back on again because uh, we are obviously going to ink it but yeah, it looks like a very decent pen. It is, let me show you the size. It's like, yeah, it's a very decent size. It is not too heavy. So um, I don't have a problem with this size, even though it's quite, quite big. Like, it's a decent size pen. And I read online that about two milliliters or two and a half milliliters of ink would fit in this barrel. Well, as I said before, I'm not gonna ink it up that much. Um, but I am going to put some ink in it. I chose to do uh, Eroshizuku Tsutsuji because I think the pink would look great in that barrel. I love these bottles. They're very pretty. And Tsutsuji is one of my favorite pinks. I have some tissue paper here to make sure. Oh, why is it stuck? I'm gonna do this off camera before I splash everything and also dump the camera, tip it over. That has happened before, you haven't seen it, but it has happened before. So barrel, you get a, a pipette with the pen, so that's good. Oh, you can see the sheen on the rim, that's great. So yeah, this is a pink ink that sheens uh, gold. And I have gone back to using Tomoe River. Uh, wow, that is actually, that is 2.25 milliliters, I believe. So I did fill it all the way. <laughs> As you can see, the, I don't know, the pipette is above two milliliters. So it was full up to that point. So it is a good 2.2 milliliters that goes into this. I think you could put, 2.5 in here if you really wanted to, but this is all good. Screw it back on. 
Yeah, the pink is a really good um, demonstrator color because you can actually see some color. Uh, yeah, I didn't gre grease it up myself. I'm assuming it came greased. I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's grab a, a journal and start writing. Okay, I grabbed my journal. Um, this is a dotted Tomoe River notebook, which I love. And I hope this uh, nib is wet enough to s show off um, the actual sheen. I don't know if I can get that in the video, but as you saw on the bottle, um, there is sheen. So let's write a wallety or air mail. 69T with Ido um, to, I'm looking at the bottle because I never know where to put the S's. Tsutsuji. Um, a little bit of feedback from the nib, but is not scratchy. So you can feel the nib on the paper. It is not glassy smooth um, like you have with, for example, the Lamy 2000. But the amount of ink coming from it is very nice. It's fairly wet, if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry about the messages, guys. And it is a definite medium line. And I'm going to enjoy this. Um, I like uh, quite wet nibs, and this is definitely good and wet. And I do really like the ink in this pen. Um, we can see if there's any line variation. I'm always very careful. Oh yeah, that's a very stiff nib. Like I would not get this if you like soft nibs. This is very stiff. But it's very good. It's a rounded nib, so no line variation in there. Uh, but yeah. This is actually very nice to write with, and I think it's going to be my journal pen for the coming days to see how it goes. Um, I might come back to you with a more uh, in-depth review uh, after I've used this ginormous barrel of ink. So I'll come back to you with uh, a second look at this pen to see if it holds up. But so far, I am really impressed. For $22, this is a very nice writer. So if you like feedbacky uh, nibs, they're not too. It's not too feedbacky. It's not a platinum nib, um, but it you can feel the nib on the paper um, uh, instead of it being glassy smooth. Then this is a pen for you. So I I am very much a fan of feedbacky nibs. Um, it depends on my mood, but I generally like the platinum feedback, and the feedback on this nib is very nice. So if you like that, go for it. Um, I suggest you try this. Um, of course, to end off this video, I think I should show you my dog. She's sleeping in a very cute position. I know this is not related to pens at all. Oh, look at that pooper. I don't know why she's so tired. We didn't go for a long walk. But yeah, she's being cute. Being nice for once, not barking through the video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will come back to you with a different pen video. Bye-bye.